What's up, good peoples? This is Stone Stands are coming at you. And um, I just wanted to give a broker, which I promise I look for the blessings, but I do have a plan for the money. And the blessings is the money, but there's other sides to blessings too, and networking and proper ways of longevity <clears throat> on my end. Everybody does theirs different. And God bless everyone who is about their business and does it the way they do. And works out successful for them but uh i do have one for the wisconsin area bj is his name and if you call totally quality logistics or you go on the dat power board and sign up for totally quality logistics bj extension 55248 that's for the wisconsin area going to wherever in those areas Again, BJ, and I gave you 55248, and um, that's one of the brokers. And another quick topic I just wanted to talk about, I'm here in a little man room, man cave, whatever. And um, basically, I wanted to talk about um, sometime when enough isn't enough, when you need to regroup, you know. And when I made the drop off in Syracuse, it was good. I had another truck from I guess a worker for another company uh, cause they needed two trucks to go so it was good it was a good experience um, but sometimes um, when I got to my destination and I was finished the Akron New York job um, I got okay for the pharmacists to leave they all assisted me um, I got paid about 350 more from the broker just to take the um, the wood Come to find out I really couldn't take it there. So, um, you know, it took me about five, six hours extra. But, you know, that was okay. I got to my destination. So, as I, when I left and I got permission from the owner and the person in charge of the uh, Mr. Patel of the pharmacy. He's a pharmacist. Um, I get a call from my broker when I'm all done and get to my destination in Mechanicburg, Pennsylvania, which was about 250 miles. Got paid $600 for 250 miles, 10,000 pounds. So um, he calls me and he wants me to go back because they had, um, they told me I could leave certainties there and I got it okay but now my brokers are like they want to call back I talked to the workers and I said sir I already talked to um, who I needed to talk to and I explained to him about my professionalism and uh, how important it is to maintain professionalism and who would go all the way back and drive 200 or something like, you know so sometimes um, and then another broker called him I was going to go to California so I know it's 2800 miles so I try to dispatch for myself and learn. I have other people that's in it. And I do have dispatchers reach out to me. But I just figure, you know, try to learn and get to that power board. I'm just going to pay for the $250 one that you deal with the brokers and the shippers yourself. So I'm just trying to gain experience. And those that have experience, take their advice from them and add it on what I need to add it on. But he wanted to go 3000 And I said, sir, that even that it, the national... For boss trucks is a dollar fifty. I'm pretty sure a dollar sixty five, and um, for big rigs, fifty three footers will be a dollar eighty five. So it's like it's kind of disrespectful. Even on the Amazon relay board, you see fifty three footers a dollar twenty, and then you know sometimes you see box trucks getting more than them. Sometimes you see box trucks getting very little. I go over the road, you know, it's, you know it's um. It's pretty good, but sometimes you got to say enough is enough and regroup again. So basically, I told him you at least have to go 3,500. And he said the highest he can go is 32. And I was like, that's not adding up to anything. Whoever takes that load from New Jersey to California, I don't think nobody's going to fall for that load. And sometimes it makes me wonder, the brokers be selling their loads or, you know, selling partial loads and try to get some, you know, and then try to get he said it's only 2500 pounds i said it doesn't matter it doesn't matter look at the mileages that you're going so that leads me to believe that some of these brokers are selling their loads 
you know, and they're playing their game too, I guess, to get the money. But see, that's why I just don't. Sometimes I advertise how much I could make, but sometimes I don't because you, to me, just give people ideas. You give the industry ideas, and you know, like my uncle always told me, this is a silent game, silent movement. When I go into that power board and I go on, um, the, those guys have meetings sometimes on the debt power board that anybody can attend if you're on the debt power board and they don't talk about money they do talk about the ups and downs of the different regions um i think andre mike just did that uh for the flatbed that he was trying to switch to but they do do that they have conversations of how to get through the transportation world and how to get through the drops and the ups and lows and that's more important they don't really talk about the money aspect because that's for a person to get and that's personal so but you know uh i just had to take a, a break recuperate i was 123 deadhead miles from pennsylvania mechanic bird pennsylvania so i just came back and i just said you know sometime enough is enough I need to regroup um so and when i was working with the other guy uh who followed me because he came from another company, but I tried to keep it professional. And we kept it professional. Everything was great. I had the co-pilot app. He had another free app, but he wanted to follow me. And um, I think maybe a couple minutes. I'm just getting in. I'm tired. Maybe a couple minutes before, maybe eight miles before we got to Syracuse, he took off somewhere. Then I'm calling him. He doesn't answer. Then he says the police stopped him, and I'm... I didn't see all that. So it's just like, you know, but you know, it is what it is, but it's just like, I just try to keep morals. I try to look out for the next person. I don't follow the next person. Even if I don't know them and then dip out on them. When you're with somebody, you make sure that person is fine. Also, and you secure each other because you have a low going to the same place, but everything worked out afterwards. And I did talk to him and explain it, but instead of going out and taking another, low to california such and such i said let me come back and see what's on the amazon relay board and let me regroup and if i don't see what i like i just go back out tomorrow on the next day for like a week before the weekend but yeah i just wanted to share those jewels with you and like i said i just wanted to really give that um one of the brokers free like i said it's bj totally quality logistics and it's five five two four eight for the Wisconsin area. Stone stands are coming at you. Be safe out there to the transportation world. Have a good day. A good night. Be safe. Look out for one another on the roads of life. And count your blessings off of each exit. Because each exit is a blessing. It should be like an open window. God bless. Have a good night, transportation world.